Hey, Ricky, what do you got going there? Ah, uh, nothing much, Rocky. Just uh, firing up the grill, enjoying some cabin, fixing to put some burgers on. Why don't you join me? Hey, that sounds really good, but let me do something real quick. Okay. Welcome to the West Point Lake Update. My name's Rocky Millenbein, park ranger for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. On today's show, we're going to be talking about camping opportunities at West Point Lake. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more to come. Welcome back to the West Point Lake Update. With me now, I have Miss Cindy Estes, and she's been a gate attendant here at West Point Lake for several years now. Uh, Cindy, welcome to the show. Thank you. And uh, we wanted to have you here today because, you know, you do have a, a wealth of experience as a gate attendant. And, and, you know, that's a little bit different experience than most people uh, usually come out. And uh, we wanted to get your point of view. All right. And uh, as I said, you've been a gate attendant for, for some years now here at West Point Lake. How long have you been here? I've been here. This will be our seventh year here at West Point Lake. Okay. And we worked one other year at Alabama Rivers at the Alabama Rivers project as a day use attendant. Okay. That's how we decided we liked being gate attendants and uh, began to bid for the positions at West Point Lake. Yeah, and it takes a special per person to be a gate attendant and, and we appreciate you coming here and work, doing all the hard work that you do. <laughs> well, thank you. And uh, like you said, there, that's a, probably a pretty vast difference working at a day use as compared to a campground. It is. Uh, day use is a much shorter day for one thing mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily um, the same kinds of people day use people might just be families coming in for a little while when and then they're going to mm -hmm. leave sometimes you don't see them again often with campers people campers find a park that they like mm -hmm. and they become attached to that yeah. park and so you get repeat customers. You get those customers for a longer period of time. They're not just, not usually just here for one night. They may be here for a week or even as much as two weeks. Um, sometimes they don't want to leave at the end of two weeks. Um, so it, it is a different thing. Um, they are here, their whole family's here, they become it becomes their park. Mm -hmm. They feel some ownership for that park. Whereas when the day use, it's come and go. Right, right. And as you mentioned, this, these campgrounds are almost home away from home. They are. For a lot of people. And they, they do have a, an attachment to, to where they stay. When my husband and I were younger, before we retired, well, even after we retired, we used to camp, but we camped in order to be able to afford to travel. Okay. We didn't know that people stayed at a park for their whole vacation because mm -hmm. we had never done that. When we became gate attendants, we began to see a difference in what people do. Many of our campers are local. Mm -hmm. They haven't come from very far. They may come from Peachtree City or they may come from Noonan, even Atlanta, North Atlanta. We have them from Macon. This park in sure. particular sometimes gets people from Macon. Okay. And they have a lake at Macon. <laughs> they choose our lake over their lake. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and but, we're proud of our, we're yeah. proud of our lake. So <laughs> we, we take pride in that, don't we? <laughs> we do. And so it's a different I mean, once we began to be gate attendants, we realized that things were really different from the way we had known them before. Oh, absolutely. Our own experience. Sure, sure. And, uh, and really every, every campground we have is a little bit different. And you've got a lot of experience with that because you, you're working at Schaefer Herd this year, correct? Correct. But you've worked at different campgrounds at West This will be, of the four campgrounds, we will have worked at three of the four. Okay. We worked at uh, Amity Campground over in uh, Alabama, the mm -hmm. only campground in Alabama on West Point Lake. We've worked at Whitetail Ridge Campground, which is the smallest campground on the lake. Mm -hmm. And we've been at Schaefer Herd, which is the busiest campground on the lake. They all are different. They all have their own personality. The people who camp in those parks have their own <laughs> yeah. expectations sure. of a campground. Oh yeah, and uh, as I mentioned 
earlier, it takes a special person to be a gate attendant. And, you know, there are times that I think I couldn't do your job just because you do, you interact with people in such a one-on-one -on -one way and, and they almost get to know you, you know, to where it's, it, uh, you know, it, like I said, it takes a special person. And, uh, but what about being a gate attendant, what really attracted you? What, what do you love about the job? What I love about the job is interacting with people. This is not a job for people who don't like people. Mm -hmm. If you want a job where you can just be off all by yourself and not have to listen to the same question 15 times a day, <laughs> then this is not the job for you. If you're looking for a place just to be off all by yourself and not have to fool with folks, you need another place mm -hmm. to go. This is not for you. Yeah. Uh, we worked for six years out in out west at Grand Canyon before we decided to stay home where our grandchildren are. And so we were used to working with the public. I spent 30 years in education working with the public. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to like people to right. do this job. Uh, you have to not be bothered if they ask you for the hundredth time, why is the lake low? Or why, <laughs> when is the lake coming up? Yeah. Uh, they have to, you have to kind of help them understand that, you know, this is, recreation's not number one on the lake. Yeah. It's our number one. And yeah. at that point, it's their number one. But the Corps of Engineers has lots of other responsibilities oh, for the yeah. lake. Well, and your experience as an educator probably. I'm, it I'm is sure a chance helpful. to help people understand. Yeah. It yeah. really is. Yeah, and, and you know, all those our backgrounds always <laughs> aid us in our That's right. in our jobs, right? Um, but right now, you know, it's springtime and really recreation camping season that's getting kicked off, and you know, it's an exciting time for us. And I'm sure you're very excited. We're as well. excited. We are anxious for uh, this summer and looking forward to it. Um, We've been away from this park from, for two years, and we enjoyed it when we were here before, mm -hmm. and we're enjoying it now. Good, good. And, and, you know, we got all kinds of campers that come around. You were talking about that earlier, and it's an, it's an opportunity to meet different types of people. It is. You know, and we have a wide range of people that come. We from, really do. We from, really do. From young to old to everything in between. We actually had a camper when we were at uh, Whitetail Ridge, who was who was 99 years old wow. and camping with his wife at Whitetail Ridge. Now his son, his two sons also camped there. And they had a hard time keeping him from driving in and out <laughs> of the park. But he came, it was the park he'd always come to. They celebrated his 100th birthday this past summer. Wow. And he'll be back this summer, I'm sure, at Whitetail yeah. Ridge. And, you know, camping, it's a, it's an outdoor experience. You know, it it's is. not staying it, at the Holiday Inn, you know. You, you've got to be an outdoor enthusiast to do that. And That is true. And are, are you a bit of an outdoor enthusiast? We are. We Good. are. We like, we like walking. We like, I'm a bird person. Sure. I love to um, watch the birds and hear what's going on. I'm a <laughs> nature person. Um, the year we were at Amity, we had uh, lots of uh, screech owls, and wow. we had a screech owl house that fell, so I put that screech owl house so we would have it nearby so that yeah. we could hear the screech owls. We often do have screech owls that cross the road in front of us when we're making run runs at night. Yeah, and that's, you know, the, that's part of the amenities here. That's is, right. You know, you don't get that everywhere no, you but don't. you know you might see turkey one day you might see deer and it's not unusual blue birds, to red birds we got them all <laughs> we got them all uh, it's not unusual to have a whole flock of turkeys oh yeah and five or six or seven or eight deer mm -hmm. so you know if you want to see what it's really like in the in nature in this part of the world the, the campgrounds are a great place for that turtles out in the lake mm -hmm. and we you know that's what we're here for and that's right. uh, we just want to invite everybody to come out to West Point Lake come enjoy camping and uh, see us and I hope they'll come to white uh, to Schaefer Herd campground okay and Cindy thank you so much for You're being welcome. on the show and we want everybody to stay tuned because we have more to come
Welcome back. With me now, I have my fellow park ranger, Miss Susan Fuller. Uh, we've uh, worked together for a long time, and Susan's also uh, been on the show before. So, Susan, thank you for being back on the show. And uh, Susan, you have probably one of the biggest jobs right now because you are in charge of the campgrounds. Yes, sir. And and, thank you for inviting me back. Oh, well, anytime. And, uh, you know, you've been putting a lot of work into this, uh, getting everything up and going again. And uh, it's springtime, it's camping time. And uh, what do we have to look forward to? Uh, well, we have four campgrounds on the lake for people to come out and enjoy. Um, that's Schaefer Herd Campground. Amity Camp Campground, Holiday Campground, and Whitetail Ridge Campgrounds. Mm -hmm. So there's four different parts for people to come out and enjoy. Um, Schaefer Herd Campground has 117 sites. Um, it's going to be open through October the 28th of this year. Um, we also have Amity Campground who has uh, 96 sites. It's going to be open through um, early September. Um, also Whitetail Ridge has um, 58 sites. It'll be open through November the 25th. And uh, here at Holiday, we have a lot more sites, 162 sites, and it's gonna be open through September the 30th. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, we're here at Holiday Campground, and, and you know, it's a beautiful campground. It's our biggest campground, and uh, this kind of lets people know what we've got to offer. You know, we've got beautiful, large sites, and uh, we've upgraded some sites here recently, too. Yes, in the past year, we've uh, changed some of our 30-amp electrical sites to 50-amp electrical sites. Mm -hmm. um, so we have 50-amp sites available at Schaefer Herd, Amity, and Holiday Campgrounds. Yeah, and, and really the camping has kind of transitioned into that, you know, the, the size of the RVs now compared to when this campground was built. That's right, you bigger motorhomes. De definitely changed and uh, it's, it's evolved quite a bit. That's right. Um, so most of our sites will accommodate motorhomes or tent camping. There's um, a few sites at Schaefer Herd um, that are just for tents, a few sites at Amity and here at Holiday um, mm -hmm. that are just for tents tent camping, but most sites um, you can put an RV, um, a tent, any kind of pull behind trailer on most of our sites. Right. And you were talking about uh, earlier, you, you were mentioning the dates that were, the parks were open, and that's kind of an evolving process. It changes a little bit every year. Um, so we want to, you know, be sure that our campers uh, know that they, their parks are open and they need to come out. Right? That's right. We want everybody to come out and take advantage of our camping opportunities. Um, it's a good time to get out with family and friends, go out, um, go boating, um, just swim from the bank if you'd like to do that, mm -hmm. um, roast some weenies and marshmallows <laughs> over a campfire and make some memories with your family. Absolutely. And, you know, we've got a great outdoor facility for everyone here. Um, as you mentioned, we got, what, 500 sites on the lake? Almost. Yeah. So, and that's... Like you said, that is a huge job, and uh, you've done a great job so far of managing it and getting everything up and going. And uh, you know, we're, we're in the spring. Has everything been going as planned so far? Uh, so far, so good. We haven't had any uh, delays opening any sites or any problems like that. Um, so far, so good. We've got um, all of our campgrounds up and going. Yeah. And uh, right now we're, we're kind of a little bit limited on the sites. We don't have everything uh, open just yet, but that's going to kind of progress throughout the summer, correct? It will. Um, by May the 18th, all of our sites will be open. There's a few primitive sites here at um, Holiday Campground that we don't open until later on because there's not as a much of a demand for right. months later in the right. summer. But by Memorial Day, when yeah. everybody comes out for the big weekend, sure. we'll have plenty of sites available. You know, and that's a struggle that I know you've had to deal with quite a bit is, you know, we're, it seems like every year we've got a little bit less money to, to get these sites up and going, and, and, uh, and that's one of the tools you've had to use. That's to right. Um, just like everybody else, we have um, a budget that we try to uh, take into consideration when we're scheduling campgrounds opening and closing and how many sites we have open. So. Um, if you come up and the site you want it's not quite open yet just please be patient with us and we'll have it open soon yeah and we like there's so many sites here and uh, you can't really say that one's really any better than the other because everything's a little bit different and each campground is a little bit different as well you know uh, like you said holiday is this very large campground there's a lot of people and uh, and wildlife as well <laughs> <laughs> as we can hear <laughs> yeah um, but there's also like Whitetail Ridge, for example, is, has got a different feel. It's a much smaller campground. Yeah, Whitetail's um, 
sort of um, like a small community campground. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of the same campers that come back uh, year after year. Um, we have a lot of large families that'll come in and um, rent a loop so that their family can spend time together. Um, it seems to have a like almost what I like to call the small town atmosphere. Really laid back and and uh, a lot of regulars that a lot that are of regular coming. customers at White Hill Ridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, also we've got Schaefer Herd, which is closer to West Point, which is uh, just off of uh, West Point Road. Easy access from there. Um, Schaefer Herd is actually one of our busiest campgrounds. Um, it'll uh, accommodate. Um, well, it has 117 sites, so it'll accommodate quite a few campers. Um, and it'll be very busy on the weekends, so if people want to come out and uh, enjoy Schaefer Herd, it might be a good idea to make advanced reservations, and there's a couple of different ways to do that. We have an 877 number um, that you can call and make reservations, or you can also go to the internet and make reservations at recreation.gov. Yeah, and, and that is a great tool for people to use, and we encourage them to use it, you know, especially if they're planning, you know, have their trips planned out in advance, because exactly. it does make sure that you're going to have the site that you want, or at least have an idea of what sites are available. That's right. It's a good idea if you're planning a vacation with your family um, to go ahead and make advance reservations, and that way they're guaranteed a spot. Mm -hmm. But that, but for those that, you know, just uh, get a wild hair on Friday afternoon that they want to go camping that, that weekend, we do have uh, sites that are, are walk-in only. That's right. Um, part of our campsites are reservable and part of them are first come, first serve, or, or walk-in sites. So um, they're usually, on most weekends, there'll be at least a few walk-in sites that are available. Holiday weekends might be yeah. a, a little different story. Um, usually around Memorial Day, uh, Fourth of July, Labor Day, our campsites will fill up about a week in advance or so. Right, and we encourage people if they want to camp on a holiday weekend, they definitely need to, make reservations. Absolutely, make reservations, and and if there are some walk-in sites that they might want to extend their vacation a little bit and come early to make sure that they get those sites. That's right. Because every year we get those people that come in. Friday before 4th of July and expect to get a campsite. And unfortunately, unfortunately, we have to turn them away. Yeah, and, and that just takes some advanced planning. But we want the people out here, but you know, they've got to work with us a little bit so we can work with them. That's right. Um, but you know, one thing too, we have, you have been doing a lot of work um, and, and our contractors have been doing a lot of work in our campgrounds and especially in clearing out the areas. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we have um, areas, um, especially at Holiday and Amity, um, where our contractor, our maintenance contractor has gone out and cleared areas around the campsite so that they can provide a better view of the lake. Mm -hmm. um, it looks a lot nicer and um, our campers just get a, a pretty um, view when they're sitting down at their campfire at night. Yeah, and, and it's it's important to us and you know that everyone is able to enjoy their stay as much as possible and and the most popular sites are always the waterfront sites. That's correct? right. So um, and you know the campsites speaking of waterfront sites, you know a lot of people that come out are boaters. Right now the fish are biting and, and a lot of people are out uh, out fishing, but we encourage people to bring their boats. Um, like this site here, you know, we, we've got a nice bank that people can pull, they can their, pull boat their boat right, right up, up on, to the shoreline, and we don't have any issues with that. No. Yeah, and and uh, for example, Holiday has two boat ramps here. It does. You know, to provide uh, for the campers, so you know they don't have to worry about going to a day use, dropping their boat off, and all that trouble. You know, these are self enclosed campgrounds, and we've got just about everything that they need here. Yeah, as long as they bring their own food, there wouldn't be uh, much reason to leave the campground. Yeah, yeah, house. we've got showers and laundry facilities, and just about everything that they can think of. Um, but one campground we haven't talked about yet was Amity Campground, and that's our campground that services Alabama. Uh, it's our only campground in Alabama, correct? That's right. And uh, it's it's got its own unique feel as well. It's uh, on the main river channel, and uh, it's a beautiful campground. So how many sites does it have? It has uh, 96 sites. 96 sites, and uh, also very popular campgrounds. It is. It's a very popular campground. Um, we have a lot of um, visitors who, for lack of a better word, get stuck on one certain campground. And mm -hmm. so um, we'd like to encourage people, if you've not been to Amity, to go over and enjoy Amity. Um, but if, 
if you're a regular Amity camper, maybe try a new campground, maybe try Schaefer mm -hmm. Herd or Holiday or Whitetail Ridge. But uh, Amity's um, up and going and this weekend's gonna be full. Yeah, that's great. And we, you know, we always, uh, we encourage if people want to try something new. Well, you don't have to even leave the lake. Just go to a different campground because right. they, they've all got their own feel to them. That's right. Um, are there any other upcoming changes this year that we're going to have in, in the camping? Um, one thing that we haven't discussed is Ringer Park. And mm -hmm. um, Ringer in past years has been open for day use users and for camping. Um, and this year it's only going to be open as a day use park. Um, we won't have camping available there anymore, um, but we're, the park is also going through some renovations. Uh, and when we do open it back up for day users, it's going to look really nice. That's yeah. It's uh, you know it's a little bit different, and that's one of those budget things that um, it was is expensive to keep the campsites open. And it was a free campground, so that you know there wasn't any income coming in for it. That's right. Um, and uh, but you know we do want to inform people that. You know, if you're gonna go, think you're gonna go camping at Amity, or excuse me, at Ringer, oops, sorry, uh, <laughs> make different plans. That's right. And go ahead, I'm sorry. I um, just wanna mention, we were talking about Ringer was a free campground. Um, there is some expense involved in camping at Holiday or Whitetail or Schaefer Herd or, or Holiday. Um, our sites, most of our sites with water and electricity rent for $24 a night. Mm -hmm. um, the primitive sites are $16, but it's still a, for a family vacation, it's probably one of the most inexpensive vacations you could take. Yeah, and it's important to the Corps of Engineers that we have uh, a very competitive price. We're actually, uh, we have to stay in the middle, correct? And, you're, and you kind of have to deal with that, don't you? That's right. Um, our prices have to be comparable to other people in the area. So we do a survey each year to make sure that our prices are comparable to private parks and parks that are operated by other government agencies. Because, mm -hmm. you know, the Corps of Engineers, we're out here to provide a service to the public, not necessarily to make a huge profit or anything like that. So it's important that we, you know, have a competitive price and also we're not so cheap that all the other campgrounds can't do business That's as right. well. That's right. We don't want to undercut another campground and where they can't stay in business. Yeah. Um, one thing we haven't talked about yet that is the day use areas. You, you manage the day use areas, the contracts with those, and, and we've got three of those on the lake. Would you like to tell us a bit about those? Sure. We have uh, th three day use areas that have beaches, and that's uh, Rocky Point, um, over on the Alabama side. We also have Yellow Jacket and we have Earl Cook. Mm -hmm. And so those areas, um, they're part of the parks are open all year long, so you can access picnic areas and the boat ramps all year long. But the beach areas will open up on uh, Friday, May the 4th this year. So if you wanna go out and swim, those are some of the best areas um, to swim from. You can um, set up a little tin or umbrella on the beach and go out and enjoy the day with your family. Mm -hmm. And you know those are sandy beaches so you know and, and we do inspect those every year to make sure that you know it, it's as safe as possible. You know there's always a little bit of danger being around the water but you know we we have all the safety equipment that people might use uh, right. if necessary um, as well as swim booms and, and it's really a great family atmosphere. It is um, and there is a life jacket loaner program for children available at the gate houses, um, those three gate houses at Rocky Point, Earl Cook, and Yellow Jacket. So if you come in with a child and need to borrow a life jacket, we have a life jacket that we can loan for you to use while you're there. Yeah, free of charge. Free of charge. And, and we encourage people to use that. Um, the Corps of Engineers, we're very big on life jackets, so we want to. Yes, we, we like to see people out there in their life jackets. Um, and, and we've got the three parks, uh, the three uh, day use parks that have beaches. And uh, they've got other amenities, you know, Earl Cook has two shelters, you know, so if you want to have a large group out, that'd be a, a wonderful place. The shelters are great for family reunions or uh, birthday parties, any kind of um, organized activity or that a family group might want to, to come out and use. Um, um, they can be rented by calling the project management office and um, they rent for different prices, um, mm -hmm. usually. 125 dollars. Mm -hmm. And uh, and these areas we really encourage family use. You, uh, there's 
all kinds of amenities from playground equipment, tennis courts, basketball courts. It's it's another another place that it's designed more for the day user, as as the term says, day use area. Yes. Um, but we have everything for a family to come and keep everybody occupied and have a great time. Yeah, many of our areas um, have tennis courts or a ball field, playgrounds, um, just a lot of activities for people to, to get out and enjoy the great outdoors, mm -hmm. get off the couch, put up the video games, turn off the TV and come out and get some exercise and enjoy some sunshine. Yeah, and boat ramps as well because you know, right. we do cater to our boat users and, and uh, we do allow boats to come up and, and use those areas. Uh, they're encouraged to do that and uh, really just come out and have a wonderful time at West Point Lake. Yeah, and the charge to get into our day use areas is only four dollars per car, so it's mm -hmm. really um, you can't ask for a better price, I don't think, mm -hmm. for a family to come out and enjoy the day for four dollars is a is a it's a cheap little vacation day. Oh, absolutely, and and that's the big thing. We want people out here at West Point Lake. We're that's what we're here for, and and we want to encourage them to come out and see us. And Susan, thank you so much for letting us know about what's going to be going on this year at West Point Lake. You're welcome. And uh, we want all the viewers to come back because we've got more to come. Welcome back. I'd like to thank our guests, Susan Fuller and Cindy Estes, for being on the show today. And I'd like to thank you for watching. And I want to encourage everyone to come on out to West Point Lake and enjoy the campgrounds and the day use areas. All right, Ricky, I think I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, here we go. Thank you, sir. Uh-huh, let's enjoy.